going on, people? It's the Xbox four four eight, and today, guys, we're going in and talking about um, a game franchise that I absolutely love. For people who follow my channel, you know I love Halo. I believe that Halo Five is the best multiplayer this generation. Um, I put a ton of hours into it, and I'm still going, guys. Now, with that being said, with our favorite franchise, our, our favorite, you know, piece of plastic to play games on and stuff like that, if uh, we don't criticize when we feel like they've done something wrong or have made a misstep somewhere, we will never see our favorite things get better. And with that being said, I gotta say, when it comes to the recent Halo news, I don't know what the hell 343 is thinking. Now, for people who don't know, late last week, uh, between Thursday or Friday, you know, uh, 343 came out with new Halo news. And some of it was really good. Some of it had me scratching my head. Now, the really good stuff. Um, they unveiled the season pass, the rest of the season pass for Halo Wars 2. Uh, new commanders. They even have an Ungoy as a commander. Uh, for people who don't know, an Ungoy is a grunt, and his name is Yap Yap. So that might bring in the whole grunt mech suits and stuff like that into Halo Wars 2, which is really cool. Um, they also uh, they also talked about backwards compatibility, which is which is really cool. Uh, the original Halo, you know, anniversary for Combat Evolved, all the way through Halo 4, are all going to be backwards compatible by the end of the year, and that's awesome for people who you know did buy the Master Chief Collection thinking one thing in terms of man, I'll be able to go in and play all those Halo 3 uh, classic maps and stuff. And then realizing the whole voting system kind of took away from that. So now you'll have your separate Halos. Halo, uh, you know, Combat Evolve 2, 3, and 4 to be able to play on the Xbox One. Uh, which is really awesome. I'm actually going to pick up Halo 4 again because of it. Not only that, uh, they had more information. They had Halo 5, which is, uh, they said is coming out with an update for True 4K. Now, I'm not going to go out of the limb and guarantee that that means the true 4K packa package where they put in the 4K assets uh, kind of like bump up the lighting and the shadows and stuff like that. I'm still waiting to see that, but I am hoping, I am hoping that they don't do a native, just a uh, up res to native 4K on Halo 5 because I will be disappointed. Now, one of the reasons why I will be disappointed about that is the rest of the news because the rest of the news had to deal with the Halo 3 anniversary. That's right, guys. This year is Halo 3's anniversary. One of the most beloved Halos in the Halo community, and we're celebrating its 10-year anniversary this year. Now, I'll let you guys know, I am not one of those big Halo 3 fans, and I, I might be one of the, the, you know, minority when it comes to that, but I know the community has been kind of like really clambering for something Halo 3 related. Every time a new Halo comes out, they're like, man, well, I wish it was more like Halo 3. Now, here's what 343 is doing when it comes to the Halo 3 anniversary. Are, are you guys ready? You, you want to hear it? Um, I'm going to tell you. A fucking Halo 5 playlist, right? <laughs> one of the biggest selling Halos in the franchise, one of the most beloved titles, and they're only giving a Halo 5 playlist. Now, granted, with that playlist, they're talking quote-unquote uh, classic gameplay. So I don't know if they're going to take away running or whatnot when, uh, or sprinting you know, when playing this playlist. And not only that, it actually does get worse because... 343 didn't go in and, and make the maps for this playlist either because they're talking, you know, Halo 3 classic maps. But yet, they took from Community Forge. Now, granted, you know, the, the people who do these maps in Community Forge do an incredible job. But it's not the same as 343 taking the time and energy out to really go in and make these maps. And they're not doing it, guys. They're grabbing from the Community Forge and they're using those. Now... That is a double-edged sword. Now, on the one hand, I, I like that it brings, you know, these forgers, these forge creators to the forefront and shows exactly what they can do. But like I said, nothing, nothing will ever compare to an actual 343 map. Um, and I am hugely, 
hugely disappointed in that. I feel that Halo 3, even though that I don't feel it's it's the best Halo out there, all right? I, I don't feel that, and I want to keep on kind of reiterating that fact, but I do... I'm a big community person, I'm a big team player, and I've seen what the community has asked for. I've seen it time and time and time again. Now, even if they thought that Halo 3, an anniversary of it, wouldn't sell to a certain uh, amount of people, I still feel like Halo 3 deserved an anniversary edition. For a couple reasons. One of the reasons, like I said, one of the most beloved Halos in the franchise. Second reason, one of the highest selling Halos in the franchise. And for the third reason, for people who know Halo, who have played, you know, the multiple titles in the franchise, you know Halo 1, Halo 2, and Halo 3 are one story. So how the hell are you going to do anniversary editions for 1 and 2 and then give a fucking playlist on Halo 5 to celebrate Halo 3's anniversary. That shit does does not make sense to me. I have no idea what the hell these guys are thinking. Now, all in all, um, I, I hope the community speaks out about this, and I hope maybe they, they'll do extra. Maybe, you know, I know it's it's crunch time right now. They don't have a lot of time to do anything different. But damn it, guys. Like, 343 has done an incredible job with Halo so far, in my opinion. Like, Halo 4 had an incredible story, an emotional story, showed a new side to Master Chief, showed C Cortana going apeshit crazy at points in time where he couldn't really rely on her. It was the first time we saw stuff like that. And then with Halo 5, I feel like they have the infrastructure for the online multiplayer for years to come now. I, I love the arena and the war zone aspect. I love having you know, playlists and, and game types for everybody. And I feel like, you know, 343 has done a good job in these aspects, you know. But what the hell are you guys doing when it comes to the faithful, to the people who have been there from the beginning? Right now, I think they are shitting in their Cheerios when it comes to just a playlist. Uh, 343, if you hear me, yo, Kiki, yo, Frank, guys, um, I love what you guys are doing for the future of the franchise. But this is one place where I feel you absolutely dropped the ball. But guys, this is pretty much, I don't know, a little little bit of a rant from Xbox going on right now. Um, definitely hit up the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you see what I'm saying where Halo 3, uh, I feel, deserved more than what 343 is giving them right now. So hit up the comment section. As usual, if you like the gameplay, I hope you like the little... Um, Kind of like cutscene, mini montage of, of different Halos I put together for this. Uh, if you like the gameplay, you like the topics, you know, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. But as for now, this is the x Spot 448. And I am definitely signing off. You know where he's heading. Same place we are. They say they go away.